Hi and welcome back. Sorry it's been a while since I've got any videos out but we've been really busy trying to get the house uh, ready to move in and hopefully got some friends coming to stay over the summer. Um, so I thought I'd give you a quick tour of where we've got to over the last few weeks. Uh, we're not use, necessarily using the rooms in the right order that uh, we, we plan to eventually. Uh, we're using bedrooms as living rooms and things like that until we get the main open space done but uh, let's go on a quick tour and thank you so much to all of you that have subscribed and liked my videos so far if you haven't done so please subscribe it doesn't cost you anything but it helps bring more traffic to uh, the channel uh, for people to see what we're uh, what we're up to so let's go and take that tour thank you so if we start off in the hall, we've got uh, quite a good sized hall with a, a Velux uh, window up into a nice vaulted ceiling. Um, looking back down, there's that uh, as you come into the house there. So we've got the controls for the locks on system, just a few sockets in here and uh, a feature light fitting up on the ceiling. Um, coming down through here, we go over to the left here into a uh, fire door into the garage. Um, this is the utility room which we're currently using as a uh, my home office and and bedroom but that'll be a sort of utility room and gym uh, later on um, my study through this door here uh, master bedroom will be through that door there with um, a walk-in wardrobe and ensuite bathroom and then coming through into the main part of the house um, we've got what will be the second bedroom that we're currently using as our living room um, with an ensuite uh, bathroom in there so we've got exactly the same fitted in the other uh, other room so a uh, nice big walk-in shower uh, recessed uh, bathroom cabinet into the wall there and PIR sensors for uh, the lighting um, all of the rooms have got these locks on wall switches so these control uh, the blinds, uh, audio system, uh, lighting and have a temperature and humidity sensor so that's set to um, turn on the extractor fan in here when we get to a certain humidity level. Um, also with the motion sensor um, when we go in here in the morning that will trigger the recirculating pump to pump the uh, hot water around the house. Uh, this will be our bedroom space as I say our living room at the moment so <laughs> rather oversized TV and speakers for uh, the space they're in at the moment but those will move into the, um, the large open plan living space when we get that finished later on. Um, all of the rooms have got uh, speakers built into the ceiling for the locks on music system. Um, so we'll head on now through to the main part of, uh, of the house. Um, I've hidden um, the and underfloor heating control systems in uh, cupboards in the halls here so you can see uh, all of the wiring controls for that setup in there into these sort of hidden plasterboard doors that we fitted in there um, got the locks on control panel we'll come to that in a moment uh, doorway here will go through to another bathroom another bedroom there's not much work being done in there yet um, We've still got a bit of a challenge with getting the ceiling and stuff done in the main room here but what we have done is completed it to uh, this side so that we can get the kitchen in so we've got a uh, an eight unit kitchen along the back here with a tall fridge um, to try and keep the island worktop clear um, we've fitted some pull out uh, drawers for the um, coffee machine and, and toaster and also for uh, the food mixer so that we can just pop that out and work on that so just finishing some of the doors and things off on there so we've got a uh, um, standard oven microwave and warming drawer then in the island we've got a uh, freezer and dishwasher uh, cooker boiling tap uh, connected up to the sink there and then a, um, a an induction hob with a uh, an extractor built in so that uh, filters the air we've got the whole house mechanical ventilation heat recovery system uh, which will take that air so that, that will filter the air with a charcoal filter it'll come back out at floor level and then we've got extractors up in the in the ceiling here so again speakers um, in this room as well um, and PIR sensors for the locks on automation system um, so over on the wall here uh, this is the home control panel for locks on but I say you can also do lots with the, the light switch here so I can turn lights on and off um, I can turn the radio on and adjust the volume 
uh, with that or uh, turn everything off turn the lights back on and when we get the blinds fitted we'll be able to control the blinds with those light switches as well um, so shouldn't really need to use the uh, the panel here but we can look at what we're doing with uh, music on the system um, I can come back and look at individual rooms and see what's going on in different rooms and set those up I can um, open the garage door open the front door those sorts of controls and different categories so this also connects up to my um, energy management system so I can look at what's happening with uh, solar and battery uh, look at graphs to see what's happened uh, over recent days with that uh, system that's working really well the combination of uh, solar battery and the s -Horse heat pump obviously it'll be a different story in the winter but um, so far I think my electricity bill for this month was 50 pounds for all our energy and that includes charging the car as well so really quite pleased with how that's working and all of these things fit as I say back into our locks on uh, panel um, so that's been um, installed I'm going to put a doorway on here um, I'll do a deeper dive into this system later but there's basically a small computer here that controls the house um, connections to all the light switches a Modbus connection which connects to the air source heat pump a wireless connection that connects to things like the garage door and a few other devices um, then I've got four dimmer channels uh, for the different rooms a couple of um, RGBW dimmers for LED tape that will be uh, around the house um, another couple of uh, channel of dimmers and more RGBW here um, then a bank of uh, I think 28 relays so that controls lighting things like the valves for the underfloor heating then we've got whole home audio so the locks on audio server here um, I've got enough in here so this single box here does two stereo rooms and then each of these will do a stereo or two mono rooms so I've got um, a total of 10 uh, audio channels to do full house audio um, connectivity here from Modbus to the air source heat pump so that we can see that and control what's going on and then one home server which I'm not using at the moment which should link all of this through to Matter so that I can link between different automation platforms and then at the very bottom of that we've got the power supply which can also be a uh, battery backup for the automation system but since we've got the um, solar and battery system which is effectively a UPS for the whole house I'm unlikely to add batteries to that um, so we'll just take a, a, a look now um, starting to do some work on the garden we've had our garage uh, driveway down out the front that should be tarmac next week and we're hoping to sort out what we're doing with the ceiling in here and get all of that insulated plasterboard um, up onto the ceiling and get this plastered and do the final commissioning of the mechanical ventilation heat recovery system so you can see that up in the loft space there there are vents that go to all of the rooms and that takes the uh, the moist stale air from bathrooms and the kitchen um, exchanges the heat with that to fresh air that's coming in from the outside which is then pumped into all the other rooms so got a really nice control of the humidity in the property and we've got fresh warm air coming in all the time so yeah i hope that's given you a, a view as to where we are there's still uh, quite a lot of work to do uh, but we're really really pleased with the progress that we've made so far as you can see we've got uh, a lot of the rooms plastered we've got nearly all of the doors hung um, and particularly pleased with what the entrance hall uh, looks like that we have at the front here so I hope you found that interesting as you can see we've got a lot of work done but there's still quite a bit more work to do I hope to get the kitchen finished off um, in the next few weeks get that big open plan room done and then we can get on to the last uh, bit which will be the bathroom uh, a lot of work going to be going on outside as well um, over the next few weeks to get all of the soffits and gutters the rendering and cladding on the outside which still looks a little bit untidy unfortunately at the moment but we're hoping to get all of that done before we go into uh, into the winter um, and I'll be putting videos out shortly on that locks on automation system in a lot more detail the whole of the second fix on that the commissioning of the mechanical ventilation heat recovery system um, and some of the other things that I've learnt with some of the kitchen processing bits and plumbing and those sorts of things so lots of material to come to you so say if you haven't liked and subscribed please do so and thanks for all the questions and feedback I uh, really really appreciate it thank you so much for your time